No, thank you for coming together today. I really want to be here to answer your questions. But I just wanted to say a word about what I think is the biggest issue in this forthcoming election. And it's the economy. It's the fact that we need to get our economy growing again and we need to deal with the problem of our debts. And the problem of our debts is really, really big. I mean, basically, today in Britain, for every four pounds the government spends on a school or on a hospital or on a police station, for every four pounds they spend, they're borrowing one of those pounds. Now, we all know from our own lives, you can't go on borrowing to that extent. If you do, your debts mount up and they get out of control. If you go on borrowing that much, the interest you have to pay on your debts goes up and up and up. We're already paying more on our interest on our debts in this country than we are on training our army or educating kids in primary school. So it's getting out of control and we have to deal with it. And we all know from our own lives as well, if you have a big credit card bill or if you've got a big unsecured debt, the longer you leave it, the worse it gets. We all know it's better to grip the problem and get on with it. And one of the biggest arguments in this election campaign is going to be how do we deal with the debt? How do we get on and deal with it? And what the government is saying is they're saying don't do anything this year in 2010 because the economy and the recovery is fragile. And they're also arguing that they think we should put up taxes in 2011. And one specific tax they are proposing to put up is something that all of you see on your wage slips, on your pay slips, which is national insurance. They are proposing to put up national insurance on everyone earning over £20,000. And they're also proposing to put up the national insurance that your employer pays on every single job, even starting at £5,700. Now, we think this is wrong. We think this is the wrong time to be taxing people's jobs. We need a recovery. We need to get the economy growing. We need more people to be employed. And it's absolutely mad to be putting up a tax on jobs and to be hitting families at a time when we want to get the economy going. So what we're saying is instead of leaving the waste to go on for another year and putting up the national insurance a year later, why don't we roll up our sleeves and try and cut the waste and cut the wasteful spending in government this year so we can avoid this tax increase next year? Now, what does that amount to? Well, to put it in perspective, we're saying basically, for every £100 the government spends, let's try and save £1 this year, this coming year. Now, find me the family anywhere in this country, or find me the business anywhere in this country that hasn't, over the last year, had to find some savings, has had to make some reductions. And find me anyone that hasn't found maybe one in a hundred pounds of savings. It can be done, and under us, it will be done. And today, there's a big letter to one of the national newspapers signed by the head of Marks and Spencers, the head of Sainsbury's, the head of Mothercare, and I'm proud to say, the head of Kingfisher, owner of B&Q, saying that we've made the right decision. That government ought to be behaving a bit more like business, a bit more like families, and should be trying to cut the waste this year to stop the national insurance increase next year. It is, in my view, absolutely the right thing to do. One more way of thinking about it. The government themselves have identified £11 billion of waste. But they say we mustn't do anything about it this year. Let's stop the waste next year. We say that's crazy. If you found £11 billion of waste, the best thing to do is to save it and save it now. And if by doing that you can stop putting up people's taxes next year, all the better. Now, I won't hide from you that it is going to be difficult, whoever wins the next election, to get our deficit under control, to get our debts under control. You're going to have to have a balance of some spending reductions, some tax increases, and yes, most important of all, a strong and growing economy. But I really believe as we go into this election, the government has made the wrong call, not cutting out waste this year, putting up taxes next year, whereas we are making the right call. Let's roll up our sleeves, let's get rid of wasteful spending in our country, and let's make sure we don't tax your job next year, 2011, by putting up national insurance. As we want to get this economy growing, the worst thing we could possibly do is to put a tax on jobs. And that is one thing we're determined in this election campaign to make sure that we stop it.